Coronavirus cases and hospitalizations are ticking back up in Virginia. Today, the health department reported 2,200 new infections. More than 600 people across the Commonwealth are in the hospital with COVID right now. As coronavirus cases rise, health leaders are looking at new ways to try and fight the virus. They say getting vaccinated is still key, but they're also looking at tweaking the booster shot to make it more effective against the Omicron variant. Dana Smith has more on how this could help slow the spread. COVID-19 infections are trending upwards, and Dr. Caitlin Padotti, the director of the Virginia Beach Department of Public Health, noted this includes breakthrough cases and reoccurring infections. Over time, your immune system can forget a little bit how to fight this virus, whether you learn that from being infected or from being vaccinated. According to the Centers for Disease Control, community transmission is at substantial and high levels across much of the country. We do know from data that the Omicron subvariant are the ones that are circulating. A Food and Drug Administration panel is now recommending changing COVID boosters to specifically target Omicron. And Omicron is a tricky actor. Omicron is able to get around uh, uh, some protection afforded by the vaccine. Dr. Brooke Rossheim at the Virginia Department of Health said the current COVID-19 vaccine is effective, but it's based on the original virus strain. You know, if you have a vaccine uh, targeted at Omicron, um, then uh, you get a pretty robust immune response against Omicron. This modified COVID-19 booster shot should be available this fall. Dana Smith, 13 News Now. Right now, health leaders are advising Virginians to go back to some older advice, wear a mask indoors and social distance if you're living in a community with high transmission levels.